and welcome back to another LucaVision video and it's Monday which means you're watching a new music Monday whoop 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 yes we are starting the week in style by having a little look at a new song from a Eurovision artist year in year out we see artists come and we see artists go we should not give up on them after Eurovision we should be supporting them all the way through and seeing where their artistry takes them and seeing what kind of music they are producing post Eurovision does their artistry develop and expand or is their Eurovision track the perfect song to sum up their stylings. This is what we're here to find out people and to see if the songs that they release after Eurovision would have been a good fit for their competition. And in today's video by looking at the title down below we are having a look at Roxanne and her brand new single How to Break a Heart. <laughs> Sounds emotional. Now you guys know this, Roxanne would have been the participant for the 2020 competition representing Romania. Now for Romania's national selection, it was always going to be Roxanne, not a shadow of a doubt. She had five songs to sing. However, there were five potential songs that could have represented Romania that year. And if you haven't seen it already, I have reacted to Cherry Red, Self Sabotage? And if you click the link up here, you'll be taken straight there. But the song that was selected by the public was Alcohol You. Personally, I would have loved to have seen Cherry Red go through, but Alcohol You was my second favourite. But due to the cancellation of the 2020 contest, we'll never see what Alcohol You would have been like up against the other entrants. So, moving on, what kind of music is she producing now? Let's have a little look and see where her artistry is taken up. So, enough chat, let's react. How to break a heart. I'll tell you how to break my heart. Tell me there's no chocolate left. Let's go. Ooh, very modern to begin with. Love that there's lyrics. That's literally how to break a heart. <laughs> oh, I'm loving how contemporary this is. It's fresh. Her voice, it's just instantly recognisable. You hear it on the radio, you go, that's Roxanne, all right. This instrumentation is so fresh. Even though the song is quite mellow, like stylistically, it's very feel good at the same time. Great hook. I love how the second verse starts as the first verse. Fool me once, fool me twice. I warned you once, I warned you twice. Nice one. This is so good. It is such an empowerment anthem, what, looking at the lyrics. But at the same time, it's got a deep message in it as well. Not too deep, but just enough to keep your attention. I love the juxtaposition of the feel-good tones and the melody compared to the lyrical content. And Roxanne has this very unique thing of... I think it's her natural singing voice. Her pronunciation is not very good, but it works so well. How you'd see with like Ariana Grande mixed with Billie Eilish, that sort of modern contemporary feel. This is so catchy. But it's not in your face catchy. It's not like hook after hook after hook. It's just one that you can get a bit obsessed with, I think. It's not in your face, but it's not simple. Do you know what I mean? It's a middle of the road kind of encapsulating. There's something about her artistry as well that is just so, like I say, it's captivating. It's, she, like now I'm just completely staring at her. She's not doing a lot. <gasps> Mind blown. She was representing the thing that she broke at the beginning, the heart that she broke. She was telling you how to break her heart, was that right? So the statue of the heart that she broke was actually her. What? I need this explaining to me like now. That was awesome, I absolutely loved that track. What I really liked about it was that it had a sort of 
old school element of 2000s, but at the same time, it was very, very modern and fresh, but it wasn't too in your face, like beats, beats, beats. It had this very subtle trap beat in the background, but also there was some sort of dance beat that was slowed down, but it really was a foot tapper. And even though it was kind of like a mid-tempo song, it was really catchy and infectious. I think it's one of those songs that you could listen to the first time and kind of go, Okay. And then you listen to it again and you're like, wow. But on that first listen, I was digging that. Artistry wise, she has really come on in leaps and bounds. Alcohol You, Cherry Red and the other songs were a good sum up of her artistry and the sort of songs that she should be singing. And this really does follow suit. And I think mainly her artistry comes from her vocals and her pronunciation as well. And there's something about a short song. This was only two minutes, 50 seconds. There's something about a short song like that that is really confident and it kind of seeps confidence and she knows what she's doing and she's a grown independent woman. Yes, and I support her. Well done, Roxanne. I thought that was great. Do I think it would have been good at Eurovision? This year, yes. I think because it's so different to the other songs that we've seen and there's something the lazy beat in it, it was really unique to the other songs that we had seen. All the other songs this year seemed really polished and refined and this one seems quite raw. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anyway, guys, that's just what I think. That's just my opinion. What did you guys think? Leave all of your thoughts and all of your opinions down below in the comment section so I can see if you think this is a good track from Roxon and if you think it would have done a good job at Eurovision this year. I think impact-wise, Alcohol You just stood out. I think Alcohol You would have done better at Eurovision than How To Break A Heart, but I do feel like How To Break A Heart would have done very, very well. Maybe not so much with a casual listener, but for Euro fans around. Anyway, guys, if you're enjoying New Music Monday and you've got more suggestions for me, comment down below and don't you forget to hit that like button. Also, don't you forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you can keep up to date with all the other videos from the other series that I've got running on this channel. What do you want to see next? Let me know down below. Anyway, that's all from me. All that's left for me to say, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.